Hello, my name is Ashley. Welcome back again. Today I would love to answer your questions that some of the people, they ask me questions and uh, that uh, how, what kind of needles do we use? If your thread is thicker, you have to make sure that the thread goes into the needle hole. If it's a small needle, it doesn't go, but usually it's a, just a regular needle. If the thread is thicker, then you have to have a little bigger hole so it can go through. If it's thinner the thread, then you have to use a smaller needle. Anything that it's fits in your hands, it, it's easy. Sometimes when the thread is so thin and you use bigger needle, when you're pulling it, it can slip and it can go out every time. So you need something that it can hold in it. And whenever, of course, you work, try to put your hands always like this so it doesn't slip. And time it's shorter, you can always pull it and gets longer and longer. So it's always make it to, to make sure that it's kind of adjustable to your hands. That's the needle that you have to use. It's a, with just regular needles they are. It's just that the holes are a little bigger, some of them are smaller, and it depends from the thread, how thick or how thin it is. Second, there is another question that people, they were asking me, is this the stitch is only one uh, design, it's, it's designed for, just to do design. So sometimes you see your needle point, it gets cleased, like it's a little bit like too loose after, because sometimes when you make bigger seeds, it becomes like a plea and you don't want to have any plea you want to see flat see now i want to show you this one which it has a little plea now that's what i want to show you and i did that on purpose so you can see so now when i work i want to show you the step how to avoid that to become plea like this okay so now which i want to do this about the let's say okay this is we have to do to get rid of the plea what you do is when you go into the seeds isn't to do another seed you just take this and the back part you go over just to tighten it up what it does it makes it blind it takes one of the seeds away and let's say that if it's too tight like it's pulling so you don't want to become like a cup because more you do it gets smaller smaller before it starts that what do you use what do you do in the same hole you go and you add another seed this is what you do so what it does it loosens up it opens it and you see like i said if it's very tight you just go next to the one and tighten it up and when i do another like let's say i'm going to give you a new design later and i will show you how so this way it tightens up and it's get closer this you don't you won't see this play because it will pull and pull and pull and that's what it will do and those stitches that's what you use for if it's too tight in the same hole you go you make another seed if it's too if it's too loose you get go to the next one and you cover it and both side both time not both time when you want to make it blind like tighten it up you go to the next and you cover it like this and what it does it pulls it so it relaxes it bring in the same place and like i said if it's too tight it started to get like a cup you want to loosen it up in the same hole you put it and you add seeds and that's how it becomes bigger there you go so this will answer your question so that's what you do because you need always your needle point to be nice and flat unless you're gonna make bigger and you want to hang it down and you want plea then you can add more seeds the way i was showing you instead to be tight you can start to make it more plea the bottom part and that's how it goes and this is what it is that you have to try all right that's it well thank you for watching go when you go on youtube slash become inspired youtube.com slash become inspired you go on the videos and you see everyone every new steps and everything i'm teaching you over there thank you for watching bye bye